Hello, boys and girls from year two. Thank you very much for being one more time in this uh, journey of virtual learning. I am so glad, I am so satisfied for all the hard job that you are doing. Thank you for being every week with me, reading stories. Thank you for taking the time for sharing your videos. They are amazing boys. They are amazing girls. Thank you for showing me your talent, your effort, your passion for reading. You can't imagine how happy I am, how glad, proud I am when I see you doing the activities from home with a member of your family. Thank you very much for your great job. This time, I'm going to uh, share something about amazing. Yes, this is not the exception. Uh, so today we are going to learn something that it is amazing that maybe you don't know, uh, but using waste, we can, we can uh, use, using waste, we can have electricity or energy. But how this come from? How is it possible from waste to get energy? Do you know that? Okay, let me ask you boys, what do you think about electricity? What do you think about energy? Wow, where did this energy come from? And another important thing is, what do you know about waste and electricity? How can we get electricity from waste? And here we are with a special friend as always, Tino! Hello Tino, how are you today, boy? Hi, how are you? I'm fantastic. Thank you very much. Uh, I am ready for this journey today about electricity. Are you ready? Yes. And you, Tino? Tino is ready too uh, uh, to learn about electricity. So this time we're we're going to read and we're going to learn about not uh, uh, not about fiction but about nonfiction. This time um, we have a database here that it is called Follett. All right, we are going to use uh, this time not tumble books but Follett. Okay, so um, here in the box in the in the in the box of search you're going to write the, the title of the book that we are going to read. So we're going to write here from, from waste to, ener to energy. All right, you're going to search. All right, there we go. Okay, and we're going to read about this, the first book. Let's open it, all right? Let's open it and let's learn about this fantastic book. Yes, you know, I know that you're very happy about this topic. And here we go. Uh, but before to start, let me ask some questions before to start. And, and as you see, waste and energy, what is the relationship between them? Hmm. What do you think about that? All right. And... We're going to learn about this and how is it possible to get energy from waste, all right? And the first uh, here in the main menu, okay, in the main menu, you can close and you hear menu, you can find a table of content, all right? Remember that a book is divided into chapters. All the content of the book is divided into chapters to get easier the reading that we are uh, reading. All right, so here, and remember that a table of content is divided also by chapters. Remember, this helps us to understand the context of the whole world, of, of the whole book, and it's really helpful when we are going to try to read a book. All right, so here in the table of content, uh, Tino, read uh, is chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, chapter four, uh, chapter five. Well, you can read all this book if you have the time. Uh, but first, we are going to read a little bit. I'm going to read a little bit, a small portion of this interesting book. If you have more time, please take some time for reading this at home. Okay. So the first question is: Is waste really useful? What do you think, Tino? Do you think that waste is really useful? What do you think at home? Do you think that waste is really useful or is really useless? Hmm. 
Chapter two, where does it all go? Where does it all go? That's a good question. Where does all the trash, all the all the waste we do go? Where where does all of this go? The chapter three is talking about getting energy from waste. Wow, how is that possible? Hmm. And I would like you to explore this book and answer me these questions in the activity for next week, for this week, all right? So you are going to, to investigate, you are going to search these questions and you are going to answer me all of these questions in the activity we're going to do for library time, okay? Chapter five, environmental balancing act. Oh, wow, that's important to balance all the things we do in order to protect our world. So let's go to chapter one. Ooh. And let's uh, learn about uh, where all of these come from. Okay, very good. You can open a little bit. So uh, in chapter one, uh, is waste really useless? Mm. You can see here, you can see here, a uh, garbage looks gross, but it might be more useful than you think. Mm. There is a smelly place in every home. Many people try not to think about what is it? The garbage can. Mm. Garbage can hold things or hold the things people don't want. After the yogurt is eaten, the container ends up in the trash. After newspaper are read, they land in the trash. When we cook, we throw away many parts of our meats, fruits and vegetables. Trash is household waste. It is the stuff people no longer find useful. What good is an empty yogurt container, a banana peel or a newspaper that has already been read? The news, the answer might surprise you. Trash is one thing that people are always taking out of their homes. But what if we could turn the trash that we throw out of the house into something valuable that we bring into the house? Hmm. That thing is electricity. It powers alarm clocks that buzz in the morning. It powers lights to read newspaper by. It powers the refrigerator that keeps food from spoiling uh, in the heat. Imagine using household waste to create electricity, something we use every day. Then trash would no longer be useless. Scientists have, have discovered a way to turn waste into energy by burning it. Wow, yes, it's true. When trash is burned, energy stored inside the trash is released in the form of heat. Ah, now I know. The heat can be used to make electricity. Yes, I know that you are very surprised. The electricity then travels from a power plant to houses and other buildings. Yes. Um, it travels on electrical lines that connect the buildings to the power plant. This network of line is known as power grid. This is how electric, electrical energy is shared through community. Isn't it amazing, Tino? Isn't it amazing, boys? How awesome this is. This is fantastic to know that we can use trash into electricity. Wow, very, very, very interesting. Okay, very good. Mm. Let's see what else we can learn. Ooh. 21st century content. Some business reuse their own waste to create energy to their factories. Kraft is a company that makes cheese and other food products. It turns some of its uh, leftover food products into natural gas. That's amazing. The gas is then used to create electricity. Why do companies want to turn their waste into electricity? It's expensive to haul away waste in trucks. 
and trucks create air pollution in the form of gas called carbon dioxide. Creating energy from waste makes good business sense and helps save the environment. Burning trash is just one way to create electrical energy. It is, however, one of the least common sources of electricity. The most commonly burned substance in electrical power plant is coal. Sometimes oil is burned. Natural gas can also be used to produce electricity. Coal, oil, and natural gas are limited resources, but trash seems to pile up all the time. Let's learn more about turning all the useless garbage into useful energy. All right? So, what you're going to do at home is please try to read, try to read, uh, or try to use this chapter, use your favorite chapter and try to learn about the more about how can we get or how can we use trash as form of energy. It is interesting topic, boys and girls. So try to read it at home. Choose, the, choose this, okay? Or simply you can continue learning from here. Okay, you can just turn the page and you can continue reading with your fat, with your dad and mom. Okay, so where does it all go? This is our next chapter that we are going to read together. Okay, but you can read it at home. You can read it with your mom and dad. Okay, try to read it and learn. So the homework for today is just answer investigate about this and answer these questions all right thank you very much for taking the time for doing this activity and see you next time bye bye say bye bye tino bye okay thank you very much year two for taking the time for watching this video bye bye